My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Greetings, you dumb fools. Anyways, uh, hope, <laughs> hope you guys are having a good day today, man. Uh, I, wa I want to do my quick, uh, at first I wasn't going to do a review for this, but I seen a, a few uh, movie reviews for this. I was like, you know what? Let me do, let me do my little uh, movie review. The current new movie on, uh, an on Amazon Prime that they've been advertising is uh, Chris Pratt's The Tomorrow War. Um this is currently the new movie uh, for a few months or maybe even a year or two now. You know, Prime has, you know, they like drop these little movies, especially since the pan, especially since the pandemic hit. I know before, I think at the start of this year, the big movie was uh, Coming to America 2, um, which I still have not seen, you know, uh, but I hear that that wasn't that good. Uh, the recent one before this was Michael B. Jordan's Without Remorse which was <laughs> i i even do a review for that i'm all about black excellence but not when it comes to that movie <laughs> that, that movie oh my god was bad it is chris pratt's a movie he's you know the star of this movie it also has jk simmons in this movie which i'm gonna get to later but you know this is chris pratt's movie like he's like the main guy so uh yeah the movie Honestly, I probably I think I think once it ended when I was watching it with my uh, chat, I I, th I think I gave it either like a five point five or six. Um, not horrible, you know. I mean it. I mean it was better than Without Remorse. I know that <laughs> it was definitely better than Michael B. Jordan's movie, but uh, you know what it wasn't the greatest movie, but it wasn't like horrible. It did have some good things going for it. Uh, pretty much the story is like about uh, humans have to step well in the current world that they're living in in the future they are about to be invaded by aliens and humanity is at stake and stuff like that so these people from from the future like come in and then tell humans like hey we need y'all suck us help because if y'all don't help us with this event you know that happens in the future then we ain't gonna be around no more <laughs> people have to they are pretty much being drafted to war but they're going to a war that's set in the future uh, let me talk about the things that i liked about the movie <laughs> and, and then the things that i did like like about the movie first off chris pratt i'm always a fan of chris pratt you know most of the movies that i've seen chris pratt in i do like chris pratt you know I, I i don't think he's the greatest actor you know but he's not the worst actor neither i thought he was pretty decent for the most part in uh, this movie i know chris pratt is kind of looked at as like that jokey for comic relief a lot of times like now when i see chris pratt i just think star lord <laughs> and stuff so he's kind of you know that comic relief guy so one of the things that didn't make sense to me and i don't even know this dude's name because a lot of the characters in in this movie like you didn't really care for but especially this this one black dude i don't even know his name but he but he was like one of the main characters as well and like he he had more screen time in this movie than jk simmons this particular darky that <laughs> was in this movie it was just like especially with a movie with chris pratt like his whole role was to be like comic relief like he was just, you know, constantly joking and like, you know, this uppity giggity like black dude. And it's like, why do you need that when you have Chris Pratt like right there? Like, you know, Chris Pratt is normally that guy. I, I guess he, I guess you know, he was trying to be in more of a ser, you know, in more of a serious role. But like, yeah, with that black guy, it, it, it like the humor wasn't even hitting anyways and i felt like that they was doing that too much throughout this whole movie they tried and i get it you know because they're being drafted to war and you have to leave your family and stuff like that but they tried like 
overly hard to get you to care about this relationship between Chris Pratt and his daughter and his uh, 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 wife and stuff like that. It just didn't work in this movie. I'm sorry. I don't know if I was the only person that felt like that, but like I barely cared about this dude's family. <laughs> And I know that sounds harsh, but well, I like, barely, I mean, I, I kind of sort of cared about the daughter, but then when like the future, well, when the future stuff came into play, it was like, all right, <laughs> you know, so that, I mean, again, I get it, but it, it was just like, they, it was like, they was like really trying to shoehorn in like this relationship that he had with his daughter, especially his daughter you know and then his wife and stuff like that it, I, to me it just didn't work um not enough jk simmons in this movie when you have an actor like jk simmons like you have to i feel like you have to utilize him more than what they did in this movie like he had a role in this movie but again this is jk simmons like come on son <laughs> like i I feel like if they used him just a little bit more and his like role was more, you know, major in this movie, I feel like it would have made the movie better. Um, again, I have no problem with, you know, new new talent or I wouldn't even say new talent because I don't really know the work of some of the people that was in, in this movie. But I have nothing wrong with, you know, less established actors getting big, you know, getting bigger roles in movies than, you know, act, you know, than actors we know of already but jk simmons more in this movie would have definitely helped the movie dragged on for a while like after like once it reached the midway point i feel like the movie was dragging i think the movie is like like two hours it might be like two hours and 16 minutes two hours 20 minutes this movie was like an hour and like maybe 40 something minutes i feel like that would have been better because like halfway through i did feel like it started to drag didn't really like that neither. The two things though that I did like about this movie that it had going for it, and I wish they focused on more, was the enemy in this movie, which were the aliens. I was really shocked by like how, cause at first I was like, all right, this is an Amazon, <laughs> this is an Amazon Prime movie. I don't know how good the CGI is going to be because, again, this is like prime movies, you know, they're still kind, kind and new to doing this exclusive stuff. And you know how in today's world, we all got these subscription serve, you know, these subscription services out there that, you know, they have their own movies or TV shows and stuff like that. Bro, it actually looked really good. The aliens are honestly, in my opinion, the star of this movie. <laughs> like, I, I love the design that they had for them the way that they looked the way that they you know sound the way that they got around how smart they were how dangerous they were in this movie i feel like they should have focused more on on the aliens because like every scene that had them in it was like tense and it had like all the all all of the scenes that included them in it and like the action scenes in this movie were all great like, I feel like this movie had great action scenes and the enemy design with the aliens in this movie was great, was solid. Like, I, I felt like that's where they actually nailed it in this movie with the action scenes and the, a and the aliens in this movie. Outside of that, this movie, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to say it's trash because it's not, but outside of that, it doesn't really have too much going for it. You know, Chris Pratt is cool, but he definitely, you know, I want to say acting wise, he carries the movie. I don't think he's that type of actor to where like he can like carry a movie. He 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 doesn't <laughs> you know, but I still like Chris Pratt and J.K. Simmons is not used enough in this movie so that's why i i was trying to choose between a 5.5 5 or 6 for this movie yeah i mean that's that's how i feel about the tomorrow war i definitely feel like you know if you have amazon prime and you just want something to watch it, you 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 can still get some entertainment out of watching this movie it's not like it's bad again but like the action scenes in this movie i feel like are done really great but yes it does drag especially like halfway through like before it gets to the last action scene 
And then at the end of that junk, it's just like, really? <laughs> you know, so uh, that's how I, I feel about the movie. Did did you guys see the the Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt and stuff like that? If you did, let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next video, video my brothers and sisters, I'll catch y'all boys in my next one, all right? Meow.